Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to complete chapter 1 and find all of the treasure map pieces inside Sneaky Sasquatch. At the start of the game you might find it a little bit hard to make money. If you call all of the money hotlines, you could get a lot of free money. So uh, I'm going to be showing you how. If you go to the phone all the way at the end of the ranger station, you'll be able to call numbers. Now I'm going to be, I'm going to put up all of the numbers on the screen. The first number is one eight two six seven two six. You say yes to the free money, and you will automatically get some free money. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the numbers. Three is seven six seven two seven eight four four eight two seven six three. Five one eight six four eight two eight two seven three eight six one. After calling all these numbers, you should have around five hundred bucks. It should be enough for you to start off on your journey. Now you should go back to the store and just walk inside. The things you're gonna need to buy are the map. The camper disguise, the keys, the fishing rod, the paddle, and the shovel. The first piece you're gonna get is from the duck right after the story scene. It's absolutely free. For the second piece, you're gonna wanna go head over to the lake. If you keep on going east, you should see this sign over here. And as you can see, there's an arrow pointing down. That's his lake. You want to go down those steps. After you reach the lake, you should see some of these things uh, that are called fish. You should at least see a few of them at the surface. And when you get close to the water, you should see this icon right here. Go ahead on tap and tap on it. What you're going to do is you're going to follow the instructions by pulling back and catch one of the fish nearby. After you catch your first fish, you want to walk all the way up into this little path over here. You should see this bear lying down. Go ahead and talk to him. The bear should then walk to a beehive. It's pretty uh, slow, so that's why I'm deciding to speed up this part. So, yeah. The bear should distract this beehive, and you should see something lying on the ground. Go ahead and pick that up. Boom, you got your second piece. The next piece you're gonna find is also at the lake. If you go down and see all these canoes, you're gonna see this icon when you get close to one. Go ahead and get down one. Now you're gonna go straight down and just keep on going down from the dock all the way down. Sooner or later, you'll come to stop and you can exit. You'll see this little path going down. Go ahead and follow that. Then you'll be at the maze. The maze is very simple, just follow my directions. The maze is actually very easy. All you're doing is just going down all the way to the bottom left corner. Just think about getting there and you'll probably get there in no time. If you get to the end of, ma of the maze, you'll see this treasure map piece lying on the ground. Go ahead and pick that up. Boom, got your third piece. The fourth treasure map piece you're gonna find is at the ski mountain. You can go ahead and buy the skis that are inside the shop. Bruh. First thing you gotta do is you gotta go to ski school, which can be found all the way at the event center. The event center is past the chairlift. The first thing that's gonna be on the uh, event center is ski school. Go ahead and take that. After you're done that, go uh, and look around the lake. After a little bit of looking, you should find this guy with green skis with an, an, and an exclamation mark above his head. Go ahead and talk to him. He'll offer you treasure map piece to beat him, so that's what you gotta do. You just gotta spam uh, random moves and make sure to land it. If you get past 2,000, you should be good. Boom! Your fourth treasure map piece. 
for your fifth treasure map piece, you're gonna see this fish near your pond with an exclamation mark over it. It might happen sometimes, just come back each day and it will happen. Go over to him and fish him up. He'll tell you to drop him off at the golf course. So that's, that, that's exactly what you're gonna do. After you exit the campground, you should keep you should be able to keep on going right and you'll see the sign called the golf course just keep on going in that direction after you arrive at the golf course you're gonna go up to the driving range and on the right you're gonna see this pool of water go ahead and press the fish icon boom your fifth treasure piece while you're at the golf course Go ahead and go to the store. When you get inside the store, you should see this bag of golf clubs. You can also get the blue one, which I already bought up here. It's always recommended to buy the pro one because you have a way better chance on um, beating the person that you're going to need to beat. So go ahead and buy that. If you walk outside, you should see this guy around the first area. Go ahead and talk to him. He'll offer you the treasure map piece if you beat him. The tip is to try to go as far as you can on the first one, and then just try to get it in the least amount of tries. Bruh. Your next piece. For this next piece, you're going to be needing to buy a flashlight. It's only 125 bucks. Now you got to make your way to the RV park. As soon as you enter the RV park, you should see this path on the left with an exclamation mark sign. Go ahead and enter it. All you're going to see is this cave. Now go inside it. It's very dark and weird inside here, so just follow my lead. You're gonna see these, this weird thingy over here, and a wire that leads to this box over here. You're gonna have to find dynamite for it. All you gotta do is just head straight into this direction. I forgot my turn. Then after you make your turn, you're gonna turn right. And inside this corner, you'll find the dynamite. Go back. And then fill up the box with dynamite. Then follow the wire and blow it up. Walk through the path and you will find your eighth treasure, I mean, the seventh treasure map piece. For the next piece, you're gonna wanna go to the RV park, which is right above the lake. Go up to the second level. You will then see this duck on your left. Go ahead and, and talk to him. He will tell you to get back his hat, so go and get it for him. Basically, it's very simple. His hat's inside this RV car. You just gotta go to this radio, turn it like this. Then he'll come out wondering what happened to his radio. Go inside, get his hat, steal some food from the fridge, and return it to the duck. Bruh, bruh. seventh treasure map piece for your ninth piece and your final piece you're going to be needing to have 1200 bucks which isn't that much you can find like videos online or just steal food give it to the bear uh you can also um get jobs and stuff and yeah after you get your 1200 coins you want to go and head over to the racetrack now you want to go enter the car dealership with this on the top and go to the bottom left corner and get this car over here Park your car inside the garage. Oh, oops. Yeah, the other garage. Now upgrade your car two times. After you're done, go to the entrance and talk to this guy with the exclamation mark. He'll give you the piece if you beat him. Okay, so it's actually very simple to win the race. You just gotta try to stay close to your turn and try not to drift as much, and you'll probably be able to beat him. <laughs>
now go ahead and travel back home and view the map and just exit right away. The animals will lead you to the treasure. Uh, I don't know why they don't know where it is. They're literally behind that kid right there. So uh, yeah, just dig it up. And just open it and then just take. Uh, it's like only like a thousand bucks, but yeah. You'll then unlock the ranger outfit. And then yeah, you get a dance with all the animals. There you go, you completed the story. This is probably the longest video I've made so far. Uh, it took a ton of time. I, I spent a lot of time on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.